All right, so we're gonna be doing some two-point perspective. For two-point perspective drawing, we're gonna be using two vanishing points. So two vanishing points. I mean, you have a vanishing point here and a vanishing point here. So vanishing point and a vanishing point. They could be anywhere. Um, for the purpose of this lesson, remember that all of our lines are going to be object lines, which are dark, object. But we're also going to use construction lines, which are barely visible. Since they're barely visible, all of my construction lines will be done with an orange color pencil. And then I will go back and do all of my object lines with a black color pencil over the top of them. So I'm just gonna start the basic box and then I'll do something uh, perhaps a little bit more complicated. So to start a two point perspective, we just start with a line. And that line is going to go to each of our vanishing points like so. So this is the front and the side of the box. We then get to decide the depth of the box. This is where proportion and everything come in, so just go back and decide, you know, this is, looks like it's good depth. So that is the depth of the box. And then on the top, these are going to connect over to the other vanishing point. And that is how you make a very simple box with two point perspective. We would go in then and we can darken in what we would choose to keep with the black. And once this is accomplished, you have your finished shape. So that is the basic of two-point perspective. If you want to get a little fancier or crazier, I'm gonna move this up and I'll zoom in. We could do two-point perspective additionally with a more complicated object. And for this, it would basically start the same way. Um, this is kind of a subtractive method of doing things. So I start by making my box. So whatever object I do, I try to imagine it fitting inside of a box that I'm gonna make with the two point perspective. So I'm making my box right now. The object I wanna make would fit inside of this box. So I make the box first with my construction lines. Now, let's say that this object is kind of like an L. For that, I could start adding some more construction lines in here. So this would be a portion of the L. This would be a portion of the L. Then we go to the side, so like now, before I keep going on, I know that the front view is consisting of these lines. So I've got my front view all set here. I've got part of my side view done here, and I'm kind of working on the top. Now the top's finished here and the top is finished here, but I need to add some things. Like I know I am going to have a line going straight down here somewhere. I know this line has to connect to the vanishing point. And then I know this line has to connect to this vanishing point. And what should happen is this line, if I followed it all the way, should go right through that intersection and that will get me the rest of my object. Now obviously if you were doing this 
with construction lines on paper, you'd be able to erase all of this and it would look a lot nicer. I'm actually gonna do a quick jump to what that should look like. So if we had done this with construction lines, it would look more like this, which is a little less confusing than what we've got here with all that orange. Uh, you get something like this, and then you would just go in and you would erase all of your construction lines. So that is two-point perspective drawing.